The first video I did tonight was saying the reintroduction of Randall Orton to the authority. And I was saying, can Seth Rollins and everybody be this stupid? Well, I also said that Randall Orton was going to strike. He was going to strike them down. He struck Seth Rollins down. He struck him down hard. It was slow and methodical how he did it. Here's what happened. Early in the night, Big Show and Kane lost to Eric Rowan and uh, Ryback. They got into a little bit of a, I guess you'd say, a little bit of a argument. And Steph McMahon came out, ran a dress that wasn't finished for her at all. Uh, and told him, point blank, y'all two need to leave the building until y'all get y'all stuff together. So, those are two minutes of the third gone. During the match between Roman Reigns versus Randy Orton and Seth Rollins, Randy attacked JJ Security. The referee then kicked them out the match. That's four members of the, of the authority gone. We didn't see Triple H tonight. The only one we did see was Stephanie. You know Stephanie can't do this squat. So, Seth was by himself. Seth was fighting Roman, and he got a chance to get to the corner, and he went for a tag on for Randy. When he went for it, Randy is called the Viper. They call Stone Cold Steve Austin the Rouse Snake. You know the bust thing. You know the thing they got most in common is they both like birds. Cause Randy flipped uh, Seth Rollins off and just stepped back. When Seth stepped up, stood up, he was like, "Come on, stop joking." Next thing you know, he heard the "Ooh!" from. Uh, Roman Reigns was standing behind him. He spit him, cut him in half, pinned him, one, two, three, and left the ring. So, Randall Orton then comes back in the ring and simply tells tells uh, Seth Rollins, do you really think I was going to let you beat me down, take three, four months out of my life and just get away with it? And so, he beats him up. Like I said, it was slow and methodical. He beats him up. And he uppercuts him about five times, then uppercuts him over the barricade. Seth Rollins crawls through the crowd. Randy backtracks, grabs a steel chair, and hits Rand, uh, Seth about a couple of times. It was mostly, you know, the top of the chair hitting concrete sound effect chair shots, but still you get the effect of, you know, it's PG. But uh, eventually, get back to the ring. Oh, before I forget. When it was in the crowd, Randy grabbed Seth by the back of his head and he pulled him and showed him to the crowd like, take a picture, take a picture. <laughs> and so he uh, then took him back to the to the crowd, hit him with the chair a couple more times, and then he um, put him over the barricade and did the uh, London Bridge DDT, as I like to call it. Um, then he was about to arcade him on the floor, but then that's when he looked at the announce table. Now, I'm thinking he's just going to arcade on through the table. No. He grabs Seth Rollins and launches him over the announce table, hitting the uh, the black chairs they sit in face first. He then takes the cover off the announce table, destroys the monitors, and he puts Seth Rollins on the table. And RKO's him flat, breaks the table, it, it just breaks out. Boom. And then he lead, then he walks away, Seth Rollins nose down table flex unconscious. Now you automatically know Randy Orton is gonna fight Seth Rollins at WrestleMania now. You that's a lot. That's, you know it's gonna happen. Now like I said about the I think I said the what match I said that was uh John Cena versus Rusev, I see wrestling two ways. Long script, how I want to see it. When it comes to this match at WrestleMania, I would like to see Randy win. And by script, I believe Randy's going to win. Simply because when it comes to WWE, 8 to 9 times out of 10, when there's a person with an opportunity to win a match, like a championship match or like to screw the champion, 
that person, if he has a match before the chance to screw them, most of the time he loses so he can get the big the big pop when he gets through the champion. So script I see Randy beating him. And I want to see Randy beat him. And if you don't believe what I'm saying, think back to I think it was Survivor Series, Chris Jericho versus Shawn Michaels in an unsanctioned match. Chris Jericho lost his match to Shawn Michaels, but at the end of the night, he, he left the bit of a championship. So, it's kind of like the same situation. Randy was Shawn, mad at Jericho. Randy mad at Seth Rollins. You see where I'm going with this? So, as a whole, Monday Night Raw was good tonight. Definitely, because I was waiting for the Bray Wyatt Undertaker segment, but... Um, Monday Night Raw was a good as a whole to me tonight. Can't wait for Friday Night Smackdown. I might post some things about it then. I'm not sure. But, um, can't wait for WrestleMania to come. Well, peace out next time. Subscribe and all that good stuff. Peace out.